What is up everyone, Nordside here and today we will have a maintenance and the patch notes has been released really early this morning European time and they are quite lengthy as you can see uh, which is good in, in all honesty I went through them a couple of times and I didn't notice they actually fixed the enchanter hex insignia bonus nor Vecna is mentioned or uh, other uh, weapons, older weapons that are a lot of us are using. So I'm going to leave the link in the description because uh, these patch notes also have these links to Campaign and Adventure Zone dev blog, Defense of the Moon Dancer dev blog for the new trial, etc. So uh, we are going to into Wild Space and Adventure Zone and Campaign is Light of Zarsis and this is a brief description. Now we, get, we are getting a new trial, Defense of the Moon Dancer and uh, it's more like a skirmish, not really melee friendly, so uh, it does come in three uh, uh, difficulties so that is a good thing we are getting a new log box I covered this yesterday with probably the cutest mount ever uh, actually giant space hamster here and we're get, getting a Xarxian defector companion I will test that after the after I've obtained the log box and that's it we are getting a new battle pass first contact falling stars etc now we have this boon major uh, and paladin class updates they are uh, merged together here uh, over time, as more campaigns have awarded more boom points, some characters have pretty much all the boons that they care about. So, which it means when you reach like 70 boons, you don't really have anything to put on, and they rework the boons so you can put in the master boons more points. And it's a significant amount of damage, or whatever they're doing, which one you pick. So, I see it as a good thing overall. And uh, regarding the Paladins, uh, overall we felt the Paladin class was in decent shape at the high end, high end. Paladins were still sought after in very hard as co group content, but beginning and intermediate Paladins had more trouble. This is their explanation and we wanted Paladins to be solid choice at all item levels. Now we'll get to that soon. Uh, quality of life updates, damage floaters have been updated and Q group management, Demo Web Pits Dungeon, uh, issue with the Lolt encounter not clearing after players defeat her has been resolved, the quest should now resolve regardless of attacks used to defeat her. New player experience, new adventurers will now receive a coupon for 16 free bank slots when completing the Clockwork Tomb mission. Events, the last chance vendor from Escrow of Liars have been extended until November 16. Now combat and power in general, uh, these following items have had their threat bonuses refactored, Divine Word, Diamond Artifact Set, Northern Jewel Artifact Set, uh, and please see the tank thread baseline rework section below for more information. Uh, classes tank thread baseline rework. They have reworked the thread multipliers for all tank paragon pads, meaning also uh, barbarian tank, etc. Now we have block action points refactor. They, uh, they actually changed that. Block and shield priority change. Clam and rush powers update. Shield replacement changed. And this is about uh, when, when the shield, uh, new shield is applied to a player, the new shield will only replace an existing shield if it's larger. So uh, more about that you can read. Now the Paladin class has the most here, as you can see, the most changes. It is quite, quite vast and you can read all about it. I don't play Paladin, so there is that. Regarding the Cleric, Healing Word Encounter should no longer count as a single heal target heal for things that trigger off single target heals and hollow ground daily tooltip has been fixed the state duration is 18 seconds not 12 fighter also we got uh, magnitude magnitude increased uh, i don't know have uh, dreadnought paragon pad revet wheel vanguard paragon pad so a lot of stuff also for the barbarian as i said rage bounding slam at will crescendo daily has been updated uh, buffed a little bit. Trample the Fallen Feet has been changed. We talked about this earlier. And also uh, Disarming Takedown of the Mantis Strike and Crushing Advanced Debuff update. Now regarding the Blade Master Paragon, I made video, separate videos about this. Battle Rage now increases baseline damage more, but the Laranclus Battle Rage Feet does not benefit from this. This will help Barbarians prior to reaching their Capstone Feet and help Escalating Rage builds. Battle Rage damage boost increased from 20% to 25, but Relentless Battle Rage Fee decreases the bonus from 25 to 15. Hidden Daggers Encounter, uh, they revised it. Uh, it has two charges, and the jump back distance is almost insignificant, and it can be used in the combat uh, as it is. 
instead of roar or something like that you can combine it with uh, not so fast and maybe roar or punishing charge or something like that sentinel paragon pet uh, barbarian sentinels will require require to retrain their feats due to many paragon changes we made this with this update so keep that in mind who is playing sentinel uh, there's a lot of changes for the ranger aim shot arrow no longer points upwards while traveling to target warlock hellbringer classes blades of vanquish armies and counter criticals are no longer affected by the targeted players critical avoidance gates of hell criticals are no longer affected by caster critical avoidance vampiric embrace soulstorm and revitalize shields with hell pact with a feat increase from 50 to 65 percent now we got some changes to companions here the grill master companions hot footed offense power now properly grants movement speed the rust monster companion damage output has been increased by approximately 30 percent and interestingly, interestingly enough the swashbuckler companion damage output has been increased by 20 percent and they're giving this swashbuckler if i'm not mistaken in the battle pass but i don't think that's going to cut at this 20 percent because the companion sucks ass enemies and encounters we got fixes to the layer of the mad mage for the boar worm uh, they actually decrease health in the many coins bank high skirmish of the enemy slightly so they can see the success rate improve slightly more castle ravenloft blood flight damage has been reduced ardor damage has been reduced sunsword energy gain has also been modified when using sunsword the following attacks have had their sunsword energy gain increased third hit of coronal slash daybreak sunbeam dawn strike Strat attacks that reduce the sunsword energy level have also been reduced. Ardor and guard launch Adagio at the night. Demon Web Pits Orcus should no longer cast Devastating Finger of Death of non tank players in Demon Web Pits. We got items and economy here. Uh, various uh, changes. Rod of Pain artifact has been fixed, no longer deal two instances of one damage in addition to its intended effects. Uh, the Menzo Barazan Elite Sigil, the cap is raised to 2000 up from 5000, 500, sorry. And we have Master Professions, also some changes here. We got mounts. Now, regarding the mounts, uh, Demon Wings, uh, when claimed from the re Reward Claim Agents, Demon Wings are now bound to account instead of bound to character. Uh, they are still bound to character once equipped. Reanimated Chariot that has been bugged for so long. The issue preventing players from properly equipping the reanimated chariot mount has been resolved. The issue was affecting players who had witch's broom mount. But th this is very weird. And this is about the uni. The unicorn, then we have Owlbear figurine. They made significant changes to that. Uh, the cooldown on the item has been reduced to 60 seconds. Down from 600 seconds because now it's an offense potion tray item. Uh, the item attack range has been increased to 80. Up, up, up. Sorry about that. Up from 60, the item attack can now benefit from critical chance and critical severity. And the item combo locked entry now is Alber figurine instead of Alber statues. Now, the Marilith mask, jewel of the Marilith, and sash of Marilith can now also drop from the chest at the end of the Demon Web Pits Advanced Dungeon. Uh, we got seals of the dragon has been replaced by seal of the spider, spider god in place they're given out, and seal of the spider god are in the current time uncapped seal tier. We got something about vanity pets. And also about Zen Market here, uh, Battle Pass, uh, Battle Passes actually, Battle Pass purchases have moved out of the events category into campaigns category. Uh, we got something about Master Travel, Stronghold Chest of Campaigns uh, also is being sold for 300 Zen each. We will see if they actually shadow fixed the enchant enchant Enchanter's Hex and also Vecna and uh, the weapon set. So this is it for this video. Uh, good luck on the launch and we will have a trailer uh, in about six hours five hours six hours and that's it so i will leave the link to the description you can read all about it and thank you for watching and Northside is out